the constitution of india preamble we the people of india having solemnly resolved to constitute india into a sovereign socialist secular democratic republic and to secure to all its citizens justice social economic and political liberty of thought expression belief faith and worship equality of status and of opportunity and to promote among them all fraternity assuring the dignity of the individual and the unity and integrity of the nation in our constituent assembly this 26th day of november 1949 do hereby adopt enact and give to ourselves this constitution christmas is not only about celebrations it is also about divinity goodness and values 10 commandments in the holy bible each one teaches a value let's see what commandments teaches love god more than you love anything it's love don't make anything in your life more important than god it's loyalty always say god's name with love and respect it's respect honor god by resting on the seventh day of the week it's gratitude love and respect your parents it's commitment don't hurt anyone it's equality always be faithful in your relationships it's trust don't take anything that is not yours it's contentment always tell the truth it's honesty don't wish for other people's stuff it's selflessness these values make us a good human being that is what christmas is all about merry christmas to all hello ninth standard children so i hope that you have watched all the previous videos of this lesson as its bases and salts so today is the last video to cover up that lesson and today is also the last day of this year 2020 when 2020 arrived we had lot of expectations but unfortunate events took place this year it's okay today is the last day we don't have to think of what has happened this year many might have had many bad experiences bad feelings negative emotions it's okay we have to accept it as part and parcel of our life and move on tomorrow is january 1st 2021 so let us all welcome this year with with open hands and embrace this year with lot of positivity happiness let this year bring joy prosperity kindness and good health also health is wealth that is the most important thing in our life take care we have to take care of our health that is very very important our health is in our hands no one else can take care of our body that you all know very well moreover ninth standard children 2021 you will go to 10th standard actually 10th standard portion is very very easy but that number 10 10 10 may give you a sort of tension but be relaxed 10th portion is very easy once you start learning you will come to know about it so wish you all success all the happiness for you and your family throughout from gurugulam family okay so i taught you about acids bases salts their properties how to get the chemical formula of the salts so today i would like to continue that is i'll discuss the lettuce acids portion okay now i'll discuss one by one so the first question given is now before that i think there is a table to be completed right yes 
that is table 5.10 in the textbook that table everything is filled except the uses of the salt now the first salt is table salt the chemical name is sodium chloride the chemical formula is given nacl now one use of nacl is given already making of freezing mixture now what is the next use you can write your own okay but it should be right i shall give you what i have written in my book the second use for sodium chloride is it is used as a food preservative you know all the food items if you have to store it for a longer time we sprinkle salt over it it is a food preservative preservative means without any damage it can be stored for a longer time okay so used as a food preservative now the second one is muriate of potash that is potassium chloride formula is kcl now the use for potassium chloride two uses you have to write the first one you can write as used in the manufacture of soaps second used as a medicine it is used to treat the low levels of potassium in our body so no need of explaining it you can just write used as a medicine and used in the manufacture of soaps okay third one blue vitriol that is copper sulfate formula is given cuso4 5h2o it is used as fungicide it is given second use i taught you in eighth standard it is used in electroplating remember okay used in electroplating now the next one baking soda that is sodium bicarbonate formula is nahco3 the uses are it is used in fire extinguishers second used to prepare baking powder the first use is used in fire extinguishers second one used in baking powder next washing soda the formula is sodium carbonate na2co3.10 h2o it is used in the first use is given manufacture of glass the second one used to prepare detergent mixtures detergents varnanda ipo tide aerial all those are detergents it is used okay over there so washing soda one use is given manufacture of glass the second one is used to manufacture detergent mixtures then the last one is gypsum calcium sulfate caso4.2 h2o it is used in the manufacture of cement second it is also used as a fertilizer used to prepare fertilizers okay so do you want me to read the uses again the first one sodium chloride already told you making of freezing mixtures and food preservative second one potassium chloride used in the manufacture of soaps and used as a medicine if you want you can write it is used to manufacture potassium hydroxide also third one copper sulfate used as fungicide used in electroplating fourth one sodium bicarbonate used in fire extinguishers and used in preparing baking powder next washing soda manufacture of glass and used to prepare detergent mixtures gypsum used in the manufacture of cement and used in fertilizers also used to prepare fertilizers okay so now i move on to the letters as a portion the first question is complete the chemical equations for the following ionization reactions now i hope you remember the word ionization that is splitting acids or bases when they dissolve in water you know it splits into positive ions and negative ions now the first one is given potassium chloride it is a neutral salt it splits into k plus plus cl minus the first one is k plus plus cl minus second one hno3 it splits into h plus plus no3 minus positive ion and negative ions are formed if you remember it is about arrhenius theory then third one magnesium hydroxide it splits into mg2 plus 
plus 2 OH minus. Okay, Mg2 plus plus 2 OH minus. Now this is 2 OH because here there are two positive charges. So you must have two negative charges also when it splits. Remember that point. Next is sulfuric acid. It splits into 2 H plus plus SO4 2 minus. See, here there are two minus charges. So we need two positive charges. Next one. NH4Cl. It splits into NH4 plus plus Cl minus. So this is the fifth one. Sixth one is CaSO4 splits into Ca2 plus plus SO4 2 minus. So all the salts they split as its basis they split into positive ions and negative ions and you have to be very careful while writing the number of charges. Now here there are two plus charges so here it must be two minus. Here only one positive so one negative. Here there are two minus charges. But here can you write two plus? No. H always have only one positive charge. So here you have to write two. So two plus charges. Okay. Be careful. And remember the same thing is applicable here also. OH has one negative charge. Always over OH you can write only one minus. But here magnesium has two plus. So how will you get two minus? Here you can't write two minus. Always OH will have 1 minus. So here you can write the 2. Okay. So 2 negative and 2 positive. It is balanced. I hope this is very clear to you. Now the second question. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Answers are written on the board. You have to enter all this into the file. Now the second question. Identify the symbols of ions from the box and write against their names. The first one is carbonate. You have to choose the right answers and write addition to the ions given. Carbonate, you have to write CO3, 2 minus. Next is bisulfate. Now children, I wish to tell you something that I did not teach you in the last class. This word bi. Now suppose I tell you to write the formula for sodium bicarbonate. So sodium bicarbonate, the formula is NaHCO3. If you happen to see this by, there must be one H. Sodium bicarbonate means NaHCO3, this by or di. If you see that word, you have to write an H in between. Okay? Bisulfate ion. Bisulfate means it is HSO4 minus bi. If you hear the word letters B I, you must write an H over there. Bisulfate, bicarbonate, there must be an H. Okay. Bicarbonate is HCO3 minus bisulfate is HSO4 minus. So the word bi. If you hear that word B I by, there must be an H in that formula. Okay. So now I move on to the second question again. Carbonate is CO3 2 minus. Bisulfate it is H SO4 minus. Now sulfite ion that is SO3 2 minus. Nitrate NO3 minus. Hydroxide OH minus. Bicarbonate again that word bi. So you have to write H. CO3 minus. So this is very easy. You have to just choose and write. Now the third question. This question you have to be very very attentive. Please understand and then write. Okay. Now the first question they have asked is name the salt formed by the reaction between magnesium hydroxide and dilute hydrochloric acid. Magnesium hydroxide and Dilute hydrochloric acid and gooda churnal. E the salt agitta. So in the case of a neutral salt, I have told you first we have to write the positive ion and the negative ion. The positive ion we will always get from the alkali portion. 
so first thing is mg then the negative ion we will get from the acid so it is cl now what is the formula while writing the formula you should know the charges so mg over mg it is 2 plus that will come here and over cl it is minus so that will come here so the formula is magnesium the formula for magnesium chloride is MgCl2. How did you get it? Over Mg it is 2 plus. Over Cl it is 1 minus. So interchange. This one will come here. 2 will come there. So it is MgCl2. Okay. So the salt formed is MgCl2. Then you get water also. Clear? Now is this balanced children? If you want the balanced equation, you have to... this is a balanced equation now just check whether the number of atoms on the reactant side and the product side is balanced or not 1 mg 1 mg total we have next is oxygen 2 oxygen here 2 oxygen now there are 2 plus 2 4 hydrogen 4 hydrogen and 2 Cl 2 Cl this is a balanced equation. Okay. So the first answer is MgCl2. Name the salt formed. Name of the salt is magnesium chloride. So you have to write the answer as MgCl2 and the name is magnesium chloride. This is the answer for the A sub question. You have to enter this into the file, okay? Now, the second one. B. Write the equation for the reaction. I already told you to write the equation. That is also solved. Now, the third one. C. Which is the acid required for the preparation of magnesium sulfate? Children, the salt given is magnesium sulfate. Which acid you need to get this salt? This is a neutral salt. This salt is a neutral salt. This is an acid. Now, acid is a negative ion. So, SO4. SO4 is present in sulfuric acid. This is a neutral salt. It is acid and alkali. Alkali is the acid. Isn't it? This portion we get from the alkali or the base and this portion negative ion we get from the acids that I have taught you already. You should know this thoroughly children. In the case of a neutral salt, the positive ion is always from the base or the alkali. Negative is from the acid. Apo E SO4 kittanam nandangil. E the acid avenda H2SO4 that is sulfuric acid. Okay. Now the fourth question, list the cations and anions of the substances given in the table. Six substances are given. You have to write the name of the cations. Cations are now positive ions. Anions are now negative. So the first one is done for you. Potassium chloride, KCl, K plus Cl minus. Now magnesium chloride. I think you will be able to do this on your own, but still I will help some students. Some students, they need the help of teachers. They won't do it on their own. For such students, please note this down. Magnesium chloride, MgCl2, cation is Mg2 plus, anion is Cl minus. Next is sodium nitrate, NaNO3, cation is Na plus. And anion is NO3 minus. Ammonium chloride. The cation is NH4 plus. Anion is Cl minus. Aluminium sulfate. Rest previous examples were a bit easy. Now this I will just tell you. Aluminium sulfate is given. Al2SO4 thrice. Now children, this is one group, okay. So the number here stands for the charge over it and we get it after interchanging. So this is the salt given, final salt. So how to get the formula that you know very well? 
this two has come below AL and this three has come below SO4. So originally how it would be? It would be three will be above AL and two will be above SO4. This is positive and this is negative. Only if it is like this, we get the formula in this manner. So this is a salt given. Uri salt thannal. A salt in the formula. Ingane kittanam nandagil. Aadhyam. Adh in the charges mold. Ingane alle avandadu. Inna alle adh interchange aayit. Ingane kittullu. I hope everything is clear to you. Salt formula is given. This is the final formula. E final formula kittan. Aadhita step in the irunno. Avirre original charges mold la idha. Inna alle adh interchange aayit. Ingane avullu. Po AL de thani 2 veranam nandangil. SO4 in the third 3 on. So, E3 actually AL in the third 2 SO4 in the third one. Okay? So, this is the answer for aluminium sulfate. AL3 plus is the cation. SO4 2 minus is the anion. Now, calcium phosphate. Again, similarly. Ca3 PO4 twice. Below Ca it is 3 and below PO4 it is 2. So, it is understood. Ca in the male I reckon 2 plus. So, answer for cation is Ca2 plus and anion is PO4 3 minus. Only if it is like this, after interchanging, we get Ca3 PO4 twice. Clear? Okay. So again, if you want me to repeat, I'll do it for you. First, K plus Cl minus. Second, Mg2 plus Cl minus. Third, Na plus NO3 minus. Fourth one, NH4 plus Cl minus. Fifth one, Al3 plus. Because aluminium is a metal, it is positive, it has to be written first. SO4, 2 minus. Again, last one, Ca2 plus and PO4, 3 minus. Now, the fifth question. A little distilled water is taken in a beaker. What is the pH value of the distilled water? In a beaker, distilled water, distilled means what? Pure water, clean of all the impurities. I don't acid, base, impurities. You have studied about distillation in 8th standard. Now, what is the pH value of distilled water? Water in the pH is 7. That is the pH of water is always 7. It is not going to change. Second, what happens to the pH value when the following substances are added to the water? Justify your answer. So, for that, if you draw the pH scale, it will be of great help to you. So, this is a pH scale. Question they have asked is, following substances, tare dana substances add jayim, but pH value nendu sambhavikyum. Adhita, the caustic soda. Caustic soda is a base. So, adha vellatthil add jayim, but endha hum? pH value 7 ayirinu. pH value endha hum? Adhiyam 7 ana for water. Water le caustic soda, that is a base add jayim, but naturally, pH value will increase. Go to warm basically. So caustic soda is a base. When it is added to water, we get it becomes strongly basic and the pH value increases. So the first one, caustic soda increases. Because this is the basic portion and this is the acidic portion. 7 means water's pH. In water acidic. Angotobombo basic. Okay. The second thing that you add here is vinegar. You know, vinegar means acetic acid. Acetic acid. acid pH 7 and water in the acetic acid is little vinegar chertial acidic pH value 7 So the second answer is decreases. Okay, children. So, water in the pH 7 and the base of the caustic soda is the pH 7 and the pH 7 is the So, increases. Vinegar is the same. Vinegar is the acidic is pH value 7 is the So, it is 
decreases okay now the sixth question match the following first one washing soda washing soda it is you have to write the correct answer for that washing soda which one will you choose children what is the formula for washing soda na2co3.10 h2o and what is the use of washing soda manufacture of glass second is gypsum that is caso4.2h2o it is used in the manufacture of cement third blue vitriol that is cuso4.5h2o it is used as a fungicide fourth one baking soda that is sodium bicarbonate nah CO3 it is used in fire extinguishers okay so hi i hope now you will write this clearly now the next question this is the last question of the letter sasis the last question they have given a table where substances and its ph value is given please have a look at the table read the ph values so substances are given and the ph values are given adjacent to it so first one is vinegar that is 4.2 second lime water lime water lime juice onnalla lime water is calcium hydroxide solution but the base aanu see the ph is 10.5 milk paal ed acid ullathu lactic acid appo adu acidic aanu പക്ഷെ അത് വീക്ക്ലി ആസിഡിക് ആണോ സ്ട്രോങ്ലി ആസിഡിക് ആണോ യു ഷുഡ് നോ ദാറ്റ് ഫ്രം ദ പി എച്ച് ഓക്കെ സിക്സ് പോയിന്റ് ഫോർ വാട്ടർ ദ പി എച്ച് എസ് സെവൻ ടൂത്ത് പേസ്റ്റ് എയ്റ്റ് പോയിന്റ് സെവൻ ബ്ലഡിൻ്റെ പി എച്ച് എന്താ സെവൻ പോയിൻറ്റ് ത്രീ സിക്സ് ഓക്കെ സോ ലുക്ക് അറ്റ് ദ ടേബിൾ ആൻഡ് വിൽ ട്രൈ ടു ആൻസർ ദ ക്വസ്റ്റൻസ് ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് സബ് ക്വസ്റ്റൻ എ ഈസ് ബ്ലഡ് ആസിഡിക് ഓർ ബേസിക് ഇൻ നേച്ചർ ബ്ലഡിൻ്റെ നേരെ സെവൻ പോയിൻറ്റ് ത്രീ സിക്സ് എന്നാണ് തന്നിരിക്കണം അപ്പോൾ സെവൻ പോയിൻറ്റ് ത്രീ സിക്സ് ആണെങ്കിൽ സെവനിനെ കാട്ടിലും കുറച്ച് കൂടുതലല്ലേ അപ്പോൾ ബ്ലഡ് എന്തിൽ പെടും എന്ത് നേച്ചറാണ് ബേസിക് ഇൻ നേച്ചർ വീക്ക്ലി ബേസിക് ആണോ സ്ട്രോങ്ലി ബേസിക് ആണോ വീക്ക്ലി ബേസിക് ഇൻ നേച്ചർ സോ അവിടെ അത് ചോദിച്ചിട്ടില്ല ആസിഡിക് ആണോ ബേസിക് ആണോ ചോദിച്ചാൽ ബ്ലഡ് ഇസ് ബേസിക് ബിക്കോസ് സെവൻ പോയിന്റ് ത്രീ സിക്സ് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ ഇവിടെ എവിടെയാണ് അതിൻ്റെ പി എച്ച് സോ അബൌ സെവൻ ആയാൽ എന്തായാലും ബേസിക് എന്ന് എഴുതിയാൽ മതി ക്ലിയർ ഓക്കെ സെക്കൻഡ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ദ പി എച്ച് വാല്യൂ ഓഫ് പ്യോർ മിൽക്ക് സിക്സ് പോയിന്റ് ഫോർ പ്യോർ മിൽക്ക് സിക്സ് പോയിന്റ് ഫോർ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ സെവൻ്റെ താഴെ ഇവിടെ എവിടെയോ വരും ദറ്റ് ഇസ് വീക്ക്ലി ആസിഡിക് ആണ് ബിക്കോസ് പാലിൽ ഏത് ആസിഡാണ് ഉള്ളത് milk has lactic acid ph is 6.4 somewhat here this side near to 7 the question asked us does the ph value increase or decrease when milk changes to curd justify your answer paal thair aayi kaynal ph value increase avo decrease avo now this you have to be a bit careful listen to what i am saying now milk the ph is 6.4 no doubt it is slightly it is weakly acidic when milk changes to curd that also is acidic in nature curd nu varna thair adum acidic aanu pakshe korche ingotu verum the ph value will decrease slightly clear ph of milk is 6.4 but when it changes to curd pH value will again decrease it will be nearly 4 or 5 between 4 and 5 so 4 and 5 nu varnal 6 ne kaatlum value has decreased understood why it has decreased because it has become slightly more acidic than milk so your answer is when milk changes to curd it becomes bit more acidic than milk and so the ph value decreases from 6.4 that is your answer for this question i repeat when milk changes to curd 
the pH value decreases from 6.4 because curd is a bit more acidic than milk. Palne kaatle korchum kuda acidic ana. Apo pH value will decrease. Six in the third out of it. Clear? Okay. Now the C sub question. Among the substances given in the above table, which one is strongly basic? Mold on the table the substances lay down strongly basic. Basic varna 7 and 14 then add will. 7 to add the angle weekly basic. 14 to add the angle strongly basic. So your answer will be lime water because the pH is 10.5. 10.5 varna ibide ibide vana po. Strongly basic. Lime water is the answer. Second one. Which one has weak acidic nature? Idhile weak acidic. 7 is the pH for water that is neutral. Weakly acidic varnal ibade ibade o hairikinam. Go to Bombay it becomes strongly acidic. So 6.4 ana milk ana answer for this question. Weakly acidic in nature is milk because it is near to 7. 6.4 near to 7 less than 7 it means weak acid. Okay children. Now if I ask you which one is weakly basic out of this. So the answer will be 7.36 that is blood. Weakly basic. Okay. So here the lesson comes to an end. I hope you have understood all the concepts clearly. Acids, bases, salts. We have to study the properties of acids, the properties of bases, the properties of salts. How to get the chemical formula? How to write the chemical formula of a salt? What is neutralization? All these are very, very important points to be studied in this lesson. In acid portion, you studied about basicity, monobasic, dibasic, tribasic. Then the test for hydrogen, test for carbon dioxide, about acid rain. Then in bases of pH meter, pH scale, then pH of the soil, determination of the pH of soil, acidic or basic nature of the soil can be compensated by sprinkling substances to neutralize the effects. If it is acidic, sprinkle some salt that has more basic nature in it. If it is basic, sprinkle salts that has acidic nature in it. Then you studied about salt. A salt is formed, neutral salt is formed when an acid and an alkali reacts to form salt and water. A salt is formed by the process of neutralization. Then chemical formula and again I am repeating children, table 5.7 is very very important. You have to enter it into the file. Then today I taught you about the table and discussion of lettuce acids also was done. So my dear children, now we will meet in the next year. Again with the hope and with the prayers that all of us have a very good healthy and a prosperous life. I am winding up this session. Bye bye. Thank you.